What's going on everybody? Kate here again. Welcome back to our shop here in Payson, Utah. Today we'll be discussing a question we get a lot. Which trike is the best off-roading trike on the market? Now that depends on a lot of things and there are lots of trikes capable of handling rough terrain. Today we'll be discussing our two shop favorites, the Ice Full Fat and the Tie Fly X. A couple of things before we begin. The tie fly and full fat featured in this video are both full suspension folding models and they both have 750 watt buffeting mid drives. These are two very custom trikes. With their respective upgrades, the tie fly X started at just over $9,000 while the full fat came in at right around 10 grand. For reference, a stock tie fly X will run you close to $7,000 while the stock full fat will cost you just under 5,000. Some of you may be wondering, how can you compare two trikes that have a $2,000 price discrepancy right out the gate? Those are for people with totally different budgets, perhaps. But as far as off-road capability is concerned, a lot of our customers narrow down their decision to these two trikes. So we feel like it's worth the time to pit them against each other. Is that $2,000 price difference worth it to get the tie fly? What are the advantages and disadvantages? We'll share what we know and let you make the decision. We're going to look at the bare bones stock models first, starting with the drivetrain. The ICE full fat has a 24 speed drivetrain. On the front end, you'll find a 44, 32, and 22 tooth chain ring with a Shimano Dior front derailleur. In the rear, we've got an eight speed cassette, 11 to 32 tooth chain rings with a Claris rear derailleur. You'll be set up with micro shift bar end shifters as well. On the Tie Fly X, we've got a 27 speed drivetrain. That triple crank on the front has a 48, 36, and a 26 tooth chainring with a Shimano Acera front derailleur. In the rear, you have a nine speed cassette with an 11 to 36 tooth chainring and a Shimano Acera long cage derailleur. This drivetrain is paired with Shimano trigger shifters, which a lot of customers tend to like. If you don't speak gearing, I will summarize for you. The full fat is geared lower than the Tie Fly X, making it a more capable hill climber, but not by much. The Tie Fly X, on the other hand, has a wider gear range. It's got more gearing combinations and is going to be quite a bit faster than the full fat not just because of gearing but we'll get to that later next up wheels and tires it's really hard to miss those huge 26 by 4 inch Schwalbe jumbo gyms on the full fat they're knobby fat they're wide and will ride in dirt gravel grass sand or even handle snow with no issues. You can run them at a lower pressure to add a little bit of cushion to your ride as well. The lower pressure will also give you a bit more traction on loose terrain, but lower pressure and a wider tire means more rolling resistance and less speed. The cutouts on the rim shed a little bit of weight and add a bit to the trike's overall aesthetic. If off-roading is all you're doing, these tires will not disappoint, but if you're planning on riding on a lot of paved trails as well, just know that the tread is going to wear out a little bit more quickly. The Tie Fly X also has large 26 inch wheels all around, although they're definitely not as wide as the Jumbo Gyms. The Continental Double Fighters are only a 1.9 inch tire, although the wheel itself can accommodate up to a three inch semi-fat tire if that's what you're going for. The Double Fighter is aggressive enough for some rough terrain. Dirt or gravel paths won't be an issue. You'll also be happy with how well these perform on the pavement. They're going to have a much lower rolling resistance than a knobby fat tire, so you'll be able to pick up some pretty impressive speed on the road, as well as enjoying some of your favorite trails. 
Tire size will also affect handling. The wider, fatter tires will make steering a bit heavier and require a bit more effort to turn. You also won't have quite as tight of a turn radius. On the other hand, the smaller tires on the tie fly will make the ride feel a bit more agile and the handling will be a little bit more responsive. While the seat probably won't make or break a trike decision, comfort does matter when you're out riding. Both of these trikes are incredibly comfortable. We have no complaints in this department. The stock full fat comes with the Ergo Flow mesh seat. It's very breathable. It has some padding for added comfort as well. The straps on the back can be adjusted. You can tighten them or loosen them depending on what you like. If the Ergo Flow doesn't seem comfy enough, you can pay a little extra for the Ergo Lux mesh seat. This this is, I kid you not, this is the king of trike seats. It has plenty of padding with ventilation channels to keep you cool on your long rides. Both these seats have an integrated pocket at the top for spare tubes and tools or snacks. The Aza mesh seat featured on the TieFly X is breathable and the straps can be adjusted for optimal comfort. Like the ice seats, it has an integrated pocket for your smaller riding essentials. The seat doesn't offer any extra padding, but we still enjoy the ride. Seat adjustability matters as well. The angle of each of these seats can be adjusted to be either more or less upright. And if we're being honest, Aza gets the win in this category. Their mesh seat uses threaded seat stays that you can adjust to any position. You can also switch the quick release skewer between two different positions on the frame. ICE, on the other hand, uses a quick release lever with four set positions that you can choose from. Azub has also developed a quick release mechanism that allows you to slide the bottom of the seat along the frame, which is ultimately why we have to give the advantage to the TieFly X here. Even though the folding option is an upgrade for the TieFly X, we're going to have Lewis fold both of these trikes simultaneously. Yes, at the same time, he's a man of many talents. Now, this isn't necessarily a how to fold these trikes. We don't really have time for that. Um, I'll leave some links down below if you want the step-by-step. -step. Hopefully, Lewis will give you an idea of how quickly and easily both of these models can be folded. Hey guys, I'm Lewis. I'm like this guy. I'm gonna fold super cool Aza TIE Fly X. He's gonna fold a full fat, I guess, but we won't talk about that. Okay, I'm gonna fold the full fat. Okay. Just a look at that. Full fats. These lobes are so much cooler. Why is he wearing an apron? Is he afraid he's gonna get dirty or something? What are you doing over there? Why doesn't he listen to me? Stop looking at me. That was pretty quick. See? I got it done way faster than he did. Obviously, I did it. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed having two of me to watch at the same time. Unfortunately, we haven't figured out how to clone me, so that's the closest we can get. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, Gonna just go a little bit over what the difference is between the folding. So on the ice, you have clamps that are really quick. Same with the handlebars, clamps. 
And then right here, just a quick release. That's all the mounting and stuff you would need to adjust to fold. Over here, you have quick release, quick release, and this quick release, and then the main frame hinge here. Um, with the AZUB quick release, you have to kind of unthread it quite a bit to get it to where the handlebars will fold down. So keep that in mind. On the full fat, it's just that one clamp. I'll show you. See that? Pretty easy. And then they do have the indexed um, little clamps here. So you can make sure you get the handlebar back where it was. With all that said, the folding time is still about the same between the two. The AZUB, however, can fold up smaller than the full fat. And that would be due to the extreme fold. You open that up, and then the back end will come in. And then you can also pull your wheels off and takes up virtually no space, especially compared to the full fat. The extreme fold, it's not a deal breaker. It's just something to keep in mind if you're gonna transport the trikes. You can still do it with the full fat, as Kate has mentioned, buy a truck. Um, but with the, full, with the TIE Fly X, you can fit it in, probably in the back of my 98 Chevy Cavalier. Just saying. Let's move on to standard features. When it comes to accessories or add-ons that are included in the price, neither the TIE Fly X nor the Full Fat offer very much, if we're being honest. A lot of riders familiar with cat trike models, for example, know that accessories like a safety flag, rear view mirror, wrist rests, and a rear fender are included in the total cost of the trike. With these two models, however, no such luck. Unfortunately, anything you want to add will come at an additional cost. One important thing to mention, however, the full fats folding capability is included in the price tag. If you want a folding TIE Fly X, it's gonna cost you extra, $340 extra. On the other hand, the stock TIE Fly X has full suspension, while the full fat only comes stock with rear suspension. Gonna require an upgrade, a $700 upgrade if you want a full suspension, full fat. There are a few other things to note. Both these trikes run Avid BB7 disc brakes. The full fat has 10 inches of ground clearance as opposed to the TIE Fly's seven inches. The TIE Fly X will fold smaller, making it easier to transport. To summarize all of this information for you, TIE Fly X, a folding frame, it's a $340 upgrade. Full suspension is standard. Your drivetrain, you've got 27 speeds with trigger shifters, and it's geared a little bit higher. Brakes, you have the Avid BB7s. Wheels, 26 inch all around with Continental double fighters. Seat, the adjustable AZUB mesh seat that we love, and seven inches of ground clearance. The ice full fat folding frame is standard. Full suspension, 708 bucks to upgrade. Your drivetrain, 24 speeds with bar end shifters and it's geared a little bit more for climbing. Brakes, you have the Avid BB7s. Wheels, the 26 by four inch all around with Schwalbe Jumbo Gyms. Your seat, you have the adjustable ice Ergo Flow or you can upgrade to the Ergo Lux for $46. Ground clearance, 10 inches. A little bit higher off the ground than the TIE Fly X. Let's be transparent here, shall we? With the full fat, ice has given us an incredible looking hill climbing, beach cruising machine suitable for any terrain. It is the Cadillac of fat trikes, an off-roading sort of Cadillac. It's beautiful, comfy, capable, but it's huge. If it's a Cadillac, it's definitely the Escalade with a lift and really huge tires. If you're wanting to transport it, plan on buying a truck or a trailer. We wouldn't recommend putting it on a hitch carrier either. It might fit 
in an SUV, if you fold the seats down, you'll definitely have to take the seat off of your trike. That's for sure. Might have to remove some wheels as well. On the other hand, the TIEFLY X is absolutely exquisite. The titanium leaf spring suspension is an eye catcher and we can't get over the attention to detail that Azeb has put into this trike. Beautiful powder coat options, anodized bits throughout the build and that impressive seat adjustment. For obvious reasons, it will beat the full fat on the pavement every time. Also, with the Extreme Fold, it's easy to transport and take with you to all your favorite trails. It's more agile than the full fat and will do well on groom trails and some dirt paths, but is it an all-terrain trike? No, it's not. At least not when we compare it to the full fat. If it's between these two trikes, you really have to determine what kind of riding you'll be doing. If you're into rough, rocky, slippery, or sandy terrain and easygoing riding, the full fat is where it's at. If speed, sharp turns, and the occasional dirt trail is what you're looking for, we would definitely recommend the tie fly every time. Obviously, there's a lot to think about, but we're not done quite yet. What if you want a full fat that can also fly down the pavement? What if you want a TIE Fly X tailored more for off-road riding and hill climbing? Good questions. There are so many options for custom builds, but remember, everything comes at a cost. For example, a full fat with a thousand watt Bafang mid-drive would add about $2,000 and would cost about the same as a stock TIE Fly. But you'd at least be able to keep up with a TIE Fly X. For 800 bucks, you could throw on the SRAM GX Eagle, a one x 12 wide range gearing option that will absolutely annihilate hills and turn your TIE Fly X into a hill climber. That's actually what Wyatt was riding when we shot all that footage in Payson Canyon in our recent TIE Fly X video. You could also slap on a more aggressive tire like the Smart Sam's and you'll have a TIE Fly better suited for loose terrain. Now let's take a look at the two models we're featuring today. The TIE Fly X we're looking at is basically stock with the exception of the folding frame upgrade and the 750 watt Bafang motor mounted on the front end. The mid drive is excellent for climbing hills and with the thumb throttle, you can kick your feet up and cruise whenever you want to. The full fat you're seeing has a few more bells and whistles, if you will. It's got the front suspension upgrade, a chain tensioner, the ice side pods for cargo, the ice middle rack, and a rear fender. And we're not done yet. It's also got our UT Custom heel support pedals set up with a rear disc brake. It's got the 14 speed roll off in the rear paired with a 750 watt buffet on the front end. It's insane. Hill climbing, not a problem. Speed, definitely improved with the electric assist. Fun factor, can't be beat. Can't put a price tag on this kind of happiness. Actually you can, it's about 10 grand. So, <laughs> like I said in the beginning, these two trikes are shop favorites for off-road riding. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages when it comes to off-roading versus riding on pavement. So you really need to consider what type of riding you're going to be doing in order to make the right decision. If you have any questions about either of these two incredible trike models, be sure to drop us a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss our latest content. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Hello everyone, it's me here, Kate. My hair's up, because the games are over, we're done goofing, this is serious. When we filmed this video, the front suspension was an option on the ice full fat. That has since changed without any notification to us. We were not notified of the change. Ice is no longer offering front suspension on the full fat, which is unfortunate. This is what they told us, quote, we felt after a review of the trike options that the front suspension on the full fat had a negative effect in steering and geometry in relation to the oversized front wheels. Also, for the added extra cost of the suspension, we felt that the end customer was paying a lot for suspension when with the slight adjustment in the front tire pressure, you can achieve a very similar comfort level that can be achieved at no extra cost. We disagree. That's all we have to say about that. Also, if you would like, you can email ICE and let them know that you would still like a front suspension option. Sales at icetrikes.co. You can see it right there on the screen. Um, shoot them an email if you feel so inclined. We would love to still offer front suspension on the ICE full fat. That's all. Hey you guys, I'm Lewis. I'm gonna show you how to fold this full fat. This guy's pretty intimidating. So yeah, that's it. Probably the fastest folding ever. Or maybe, maybe we could put giant fat tires on a tie fly and then you would 